Welcome back to another Beyond Awesome video series where we talk to Beyond Awesome people, talk about Beyond Awesome topics. We have Steve, we'll introduce him one second, but Heather, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. How about you? I am so excited about this video series. Um, we've been getting a lot of great feedback on it, but today we are, we're blessed to have Steve Kelly, President GM of Business Solutions with us today. Hey, Steve, how are you today? Well, I'd have to say I'm beyond awesome today. <laughs> Thank you very much for having me. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, so I'm a California native. Uh, grew up uh, just outside of Los Angeles. I have spent my entire adult life in information technology and the last 20 years in cybersecurity. And, um, you know, just I, I really appreciate um, the opportunities that we have in cybersecurity. For me, it's a higher calling in terms of being able to help and protect uh, people and businesses of all sizes. And um, I'm also married with two children and have a have a wonderful 14 year old yellow Labrador dog as well. I love that. I love that you say that, Steve, because uh, that's exactly why I got into cybersecurity as well. I used to be in youth development. I used to coach basketball, run basketball programs, but I wanted to give back. And, and you know, that's one of the best ways we can do it. So one of the things that I'd like to ask you about, and I know people would love to hear is what do you love about Bitdefender with your with your tenure so far? Yeah, so I just uh, joined Bitdefender over the summer. Um, I've been fortunate to have the role of president and general manager of the business solutions group. Uh, which is a group that's entirely focused on solving enterprise security needs. And I'd say there's a number of things that I'm enjoying about the company. I, I think first and foremost, it actually comes down to the people. Uh, not only do we have some really uh, bright and smart folks uh, within our company, uh, but also we have really great people to work with. And so I've found the, the environment to be very welcoming, uh, the people to be very helpful, hardworking, and, uh, and dedicated to the cause. And I think that that's probably the number one thing uh, that I'm, I'm enjoying the most. Uh, number two, I would say, is also the technology. Uh, when people in the security industry here at Bitdefender, uh, everybody knows uh, how high quality the technology is. And it's really interesting. I've, I've learned since I came here uh, that um, almost half of our employee base are engineers or engineering related individuals focused on making our technology the best and brightest in the industry and keeping our you know, security uh, detection capabilities uh, top notch among all other competitors. So I'd say the technology platform uh, is, is a huge benefit to Bitdefender. And then the last thing I would say is just the opportunity. I think when you marry uh, great people and great technology together, uh, the opportunity to work here and to solve important challenges in the marketplace uh, is, is just beyond awesome. I love it. Yes. Way to, way to plug it. So, Steve, I want to make sure that everybody's watching this or listening to this. There's no oh. script you're reading, right? There's no script. I have no, no script. And the, re <laughs> the reason I bring that up is every single, every single Beyond Awesome that we've done, Steve, the very first thing people say is the people, and the second thing is the technology. Okay. And you added a third thing with the opportunity, right? And I think that's, I mean, it's amazing because this is the first place I've ever worked where I'm fighting for the person next to me. I'm fighting for the person above me and below me, and we're all working towards the common goal in your team, right? So I think you said that, and it makes me really pumped. I mean, I'm going to be working off that all day today. So what's one thing that's something uh, that somebody might not know about you? You know, if I told everybody something that they didn't know about me, they, they'd know about it. So, um, you know, I think one of the obscure facts in my history was I actually was, when I go way back when, I grew up uh, playing a lot of water sports, um, you know, swimming, surfing, and ultimately I ended up, um, you know, having a short, I would say, career, amateur career in uh, sailboat racing. And that's usually kind of a fun fact. Uh, it has taken me literally all over the world. I've been fortunate enough to compete in world championships as far away as Melbourne, Australia, um, and then also traveled pretty much in every state of the United States, uh, getting a chance to compete with some of the best uh, sailboat and yacht racers in the world. And what most people don't know is that sailing is actually an Olympic sport. And so some of the, the competition is at a pretty, pretty high level for sure. Okay. I did not know that about you. And I guarantee anybody yeah. watching this didn't. That's amazing. Well, Heather, I, did you have anything quit, you wanted? Oh, go ahead. I quit about 20 years ago when I met my wife because she's she gets seasick. <laughs> so, oh, no. oh, she gets yeah. seasick? Yeah, I took her out on the boat once. She got sick, and that was the end of that. <laughs> You're like, sailboat wife. Yeah, so yeah. I'm going to go with the wife. Yeah, that, that's awesome. 
Uh, Heather, did you have anything you wanted to ask Steve? Yeah, so I always ask something that's not work related specifically, but can help other people listening with their careers or engaging with other people at different companies. So if you had one piece of advice for somebody that's trying to navigate corporate America and work with their executive leadership team, what piece of advice would you give them? That's, that is a great question. I, um, you know, I think, first of all, one of my experiences is that things like, you know, grade point averages, education, SAT scores, things like that, that we're all focused on at a young age, um, they become pretty much meaningless when you, when you get out into the workforce. And so I think those are great foundational building blocks. And I will tell my children and everybody else that, you know, study hard and get good grades and get a good education. Um, but when it comes to the workforce, I think, you know, a few things set, um, you know, many people apart. And I think one of the things that I've noticed is, you know, first having an intellectual curiosity about things, you know, asking questions about, you know, how does something work? You know, why do you do certain things? Or even just taking sort of a, a risk into the unknown, um, you know, taking on a new assignment that you just, you're not sure what the outcome will be, uh, but just taking that risk and, and seeing where it leads and, and what you learn. I think so, an intellectual curiosity is important. Uh, I've always found work ethic to be, you know, paramount, right? I mean, you could be the smartest person in the world, but if you're not going to apply yourself, it's not going to make any bit of difference. So obviously being dedicated to the cause. And I would say the last thing, but not least, um, a lot of folks talk about, you know, emotional intelligence and things like that. For me, that's really about being a good teammate and a good team player. And, you know, Jason just touched on that, that, you know, he's fighting for the guy and the gal next to him, the person above him, below him. And I totally agree. you got to be all in the same foxhole. Um, playing and working together as a team. And I, I think that those are, those are the things that, that set the high apart from, from everybody else. I, I love that. I think you do too, Heather, right? I think that that's great feedback and great advice to anybody listening to this, because as long as you care about the people around you, not trying to step on them or try to make them look bad to make yourself look bad I mean, or good, it's never going to work, right? So the foxhole thing, I've heard that many times, and I've actually used that in some speeches too, Steve. So I love that. Is there anything else you wanted to ask, Heather? Steve, is there anything else you wanted to cover today? Heather? So what's the one thing, if you had one thing that you just want somebody to remember after this video, what's it going to be? That is interesting. Well, I'm going to go, I'm going to go business. I'm going to, I'm going to use my opportunity to, to create a quick 30 second ad about Bitdefender. Um, you know, the today's environment in 2020 and even into 2021 is a challenging one for, for everybody. Um, everybody has had to make personal sacrifices. Many people are either experiencing COVID themselves or have it and fighting it in, in their family. And, and so, you know, I think the one thing I would say is, you know, number one, you know, this has been a tough year for everybody, but I think we will all get through it together. I truly believe that. The other thing is that that I, I see COVID, I mean, dramatically shifting the landscape of cybersecurity. You're going from devices to be protected behind a firewall, and they're actually leaving the firewall, going home with somebody. And, you know, that creates just a whole new, you know, uh, attack vector for for cyber criminals, opportunities for cyber criminals. And, um, and it's also been accelerating uh, the, the, um, the shift in the workplace from you know, on-premise data centers uh, and accelerating into cloud workloads. And so when you think about those, those issues and, and how they're accelerating the needs for cybersecurity, uh, Bitdefender, I think, is here for you. And whether you're a business of you know, a small consulting company all the way up to some of the largest enterprises in the world, uh, we're here to help you. And, and, um, and that's all I would say. I love it. Love it. So I was going to do a, a little 30 second thing as I normally do as well, Steve, but you said it way better than I could. So with that said, I'm going to end this. I appreciate your time today, Steve. Heather, thank you as always. And everybody watching this or listening to this, go out and do something positive. Make a difference. It's going to make you feel better. I promise you. Thank you, everybody. Have a yep. good one. Stay awesome, Jason. <laughs> I'll try. <laughs>